An act of treason has been committed by members of the United States Congress. It must have been realized that the letter to Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, signed by nearly 300 members of the U.S. Congress, affirming their commitment to Israel, would be widely publicized and fall into the hands of that illegal apartheid state. So the writing and signing of that letter should be considered an act of treason. The letter has totally undermined the power of the President of the United States by virtually telling Israel, it doesn't matter what you do to the Palestinians, how many illegal structures you build on the territory you stole from them, or what you have in mind for Iran. We, the signatories of this letter, are with you all the way. There are 535 voting members in the U.S. Congress, so Haaretz's estimate of nearly 300 signatures would mean that over half of the elected lawmakers in the United States are in agreement with this treasonous action. There are several definitions of treason, but this one fits the situation. Treason, a violation of allegiance to one's sovereign or to one's state. For a majority of the U.S. Congress to imply that a favored nation would have nothing to fear from any action that it might contemplate taking is quite clearly an act of treason. In this case, a violation of allegiance to the United States. It is a violation by virtue of the fact that it makes Israel secure in the knowledge that even though the lives of citizens of the United States may be put at risk, namely members of its armed forces, any action that Israel may take will not be thwarted or opposed. It is like saying to a known murderer as you release him from custody, no matter what you do next, we will do nothing to stop you. You have our word. Putting considerations for a foreign power ahead of considerations for the safety of the United States and its citizens has to be treason. It could not be described as anything else.